Hi everyone, it's the English Sinner here and welcome back to my Celebrity Gold Digger challenge with this little lady. I genuinely just forgot her name and that's why I called her little lady. We're back with Edith and today I want to do something a little different. Oops, I just realized that my headphones weren't plugged in, but now they are and we're all good. So today I actually want to focus on the friendship kind of this challenge um, because obviously we're hosting a lot of weddings, we're hosting a lot of dinner parties and although romancing and killing off celebrities is the main aim of this challenge, I actually want her to become better friends with some celebrities, you know, have that celebrity circle that she can always rely on, invite to dinner parties, and generally just gain fame from them. So that's what we're going to be doing in this part. I'm fairly sure we're just going to head out to the gym, hopefully find some people to become friends with. First off, we are going to pay our bills. I also asked you guys in the last part whether or not you wanted me to move Edith in with Tay and the majority of you said yes. Uh, Ruler of Winters actually said I think Edith would want to move into his place because she wants to flaunt her wealth and it may show others that she's so sad about her husband yeah, passing away yeah. and now can't live in oh, that house, so which nice. I thought was a great idea. Very pre-planned, very meditated and definitely, definitely something that this chick would do. So we're gonna head to the gym. We're also gonna move into Tay's. I always called him Jay. No, this is not the Black Widow challenge, even though it's a lot like it. This is something completely different. So we are gonna bring along Brittany Cho. She's currently, oh, Izzy as well. He is a celebrity. So those guys can kind of be our little posse for now until we move on to bigger and better things. I do want to let you guys know that I actually officially wrote up the rules to this challenge. They are up on my custom content Tumblr. They are also up on the Sims forums. I will leave links down below to the specific rules. If there's anything you guys are like questioning or like querying, then comment on it, reblog it with your question, ask me a question on Tumblr, Ask your questions down below if you need to. If there's something you don't understand about the rules, call me out on my BS and let me know. I was like, why do we have this super rainbow unicorn llama superhero outfit in our... Did I just describe Carol Danvers? I think I did. I was like, why do we have this in our outfits? I forgot we totally went to... GeekCon. I was about to call it ComicCon. It's not ComicCon, but it is like ComicCon. So let's get changed into our athletic wear. Oh my god, get that baby belly on show. Who says you can't work out with a baby belly? This place is freaking crazy. I downloaded a new gym. Ooh, I want to go take part in a spa, not a spa class, a yoga class. Is she actually going to let us? Who else is working out? We have Alice Lewis. We have Marcus Flex. None of you are celebrities. Oh my God. Are you okay there, Brittany? Like, what's wrong with your face? What is she doing? What's wrong with her? Let's go ask her about her day. Is she like an elder? Is that why she's running like this? What's up with you? Oh my goodness. Let's ask her about her love life, I guess. That's a thing that we can do, so why don't we do it? This yoga instructor, are you actually holding a class? Because I want to do some yoga. I am down for yoga. Oh, here we go. Um... Excuse me, I want to join the class. Why is it not coming up that there is a class on right now? Is it full? Oh man, this is a very exclusive yoga class. Now I'm sad that I didn't get an invite. Also, Izzy, what is that workout gear, man? Why? Oh, I did not realize he had a dolphin. 
well, the more you know, Izzy Fabulous. All right, we're talking to Brittany. I love how in the last part, I was like, ugh, I hate Brittany Cho so much. She's so annoying. Now I'm just like, Brittany Cho, I am using you uh, for your friendship and also your fame. Um, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Why are there no other celebrities though? I guess this isn't like a up and coming hotspot or it might be. Tay is here. Oh, damn. She's a solid storyteller at Limelight. Is this an up and coming law? If it's not, might change it to be one. No, it is up and coming hotspot. Damn it. That's irritating. I will leave the creator of this down below. I'm fairly sure I've given them a shout out before, but if I haven't, I will leave the creator, Kayla. Let's go give her a friendly intro. She is definitely, oh, she's angry. Oh no, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe we shouldn't give her a friendly introduction, but she is definitely a celebrity. So we need to go talk to her. What level is she? She's only a two star. We're gonna share our big news. I mean, as if you can't see our big news. We're in the second trimester, so we're already like pretty far along in our pregnancy. Mm, ask her about her day, try and calm her down. I mean, we don't really know her, so she might get a little bit offended that we are currently trying to calm her down. She's like, who are you to tell me to calm down? I'm surprised she's not the gym instructor, actually. I have this joke where it looks like Kayla Fleming could literally choke me. And honestly, I'm not even mad about it. Like her shoulders, if you see her arms, girl is ripped, but she's like a really famous like athlete. So she does kind of scare me, but probably a good person to have on our team. No, don't try and work out. This is not why I brought you to the gym. What, you thought I brought you along to the gym to actually work out? <laughs> I have to laugh. Oh my god, Alice, you need to go for a shower, you stinky, stinky woman. Come on, Kayla, just be my friend. This is literally me to Lil Simsy. I would consider me and Lil Simsy friends. <laughs> or I just want to be. No, we're very cool. I freaking love Kayla to death. But it's really weird when there's actually a sim called Kayla. And I'm just like, please be my friend. Like, I just sound as if I am begging. Which, totally not trying to beg. Is she leaving? Oh, God. She's like, I've had enough of you. I'm going to sleep. We kind of need to use the bathroom and sort ourselves out. Oh, we're eating. Oh no, you can continue. Oh, now I feel bad. You can eat that yogurt. Go for it. Have lunch. Yeah, there you go. You eat that yogurt. <gasps> Holly Alto, another celebrity. Hi there. Let's ask her for a selfie. See if she'll actually give us one. I doubt she will. Oh, did she agree? <gasps> yes, Holly! That's what I'm talking about. She actually agreed. Oh my god, nicest celebrity we've met so far. Let's ask for her autograph. I'm not meeting these people to like try and like romantically woo them and win them over. I'm literally just trying to have like a solid base of like celebrity friends who we can invite to dinner parties and stuff like that. When is this chick gonna have her baby? Cause I swear she's been pregnant for way longer than we have and we're almost in our th third trimester. So like, when is she gonna pop this bad boy out? Okay, clearly she didn't want that. Let's ask her for a hug instead. Ask her for an autograph. Who's freaking out? Oh. Cassandra. Cassandra, cover yourself. Oh my god. That is a very short skirt for being down on the floor like that. Oh my goodness. I feel really weird that I just zoomed in on that. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I'm in a really strange mood today. I'm like in a super happy mood. Where are you going? What are you doing? 
Brittany, why are you leading us astray to say goodbye to us? Um, can we stop this? I'm gonna get her hunger up because honestly, it was just glitching out. You just made a pregnant woman waddle all the way to where you wanted her to go to say goodbye to her. How very dare you? Who is this child and why does she look so cool? <gasps> her glasses match her hair. Oh my god, is this her mum by any chance? No, it's not. Oh, she's a teenager. My bad. <laughs> I don't have teen pregnancy in my game, I promise. Oh my god, who are you freaking out over? Orange? I mean, I really don't want to befriend Orange. He is a kid. It just feels strange to me. I'm not gonna go there. Are there toilets in this place? Yes, there is. Okay. Are these gendered? Oh, god damn it, they are. Why? Why do we still have gendered toilets? Ugh. Not only is it 2019, but I just feel like every freaking Sims build should just have the gender neutral toilets because it's so annoying to constantly have to check whether they're gendered or not. Like, come on creators, just use the one for both genders. It's really, really not that difficult. Her bladder is about to burst. She needs to pee so bad, okay. There you go. Release your little pregnancy fluids. So this really hasn't turned out as well as I wanted it to, um, but maybe we'll move into Tay's place and try to invite someone over. Like, we are quite good friends with Brittany. Um, we are actually friends now. She does consider us friends. Maybe we'll invite over Kayla and be like, look, I really want to hang out with you. And now I'm living in my boyfriend's apartment who is like this super mega k-pop star so like do you want to come over and have dinner with me not a dinner party because those are saved for like after we do actually get married but just a like nice little friendly dinner so we can start getting fame off everybody else um oh tetsu tetsu is a two-star celebrity i want someone bigger though but I guess Holly was a three star and she flat out denied us and she's also not here anymore. I think Holly went home, which is super sad. Um, so I guess we'll just move in with Tay. So I'm gonna get her moved in because we have seen this a thousand times over and I'm hoping this will go right. So I'll get them moved in together and I will be back with you guys in a second. The eagle has landed. I repeat, the eagle has landed. We have moved ourselves in with Tay. He is over here currently just browsing the computer. We're gonna go embrace him. And we're also, like I said, gonna actually invite over oh. Kayla. Um, so let's invite to hang out at current lot. Hey, I heard you and Tay Han are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Izzy clearly just using us for our fame, but honestly, who can blame him? We are doing exactly the same to everybody else. Right, Kayla Fleming, you are gonna come over. We are gonna try and attempt to cook dinner. So let's serve dinner we are gonna go for we'll just go for a garden salad the most basic of all salads <gasps> i go back to america in like three weeks which means i don't know why but the salad has just reminded me of it i get to go to olive garden and we don't have olive garden in the uk and like i don't know like i have seen people like rap on Olive Garden and then other people like love Olive Garden. I personally really like it. One, it's really cheap for the amount of food you get. And two, those breadsticks are to die for. I don't care what anyone says, I will never change my opinion on Olive Garden breadsticks. They are so good. And like I said, we don't have them in the UK. So it means we can't get our hands on those damn breadsticks. They are like mine and Danielle's favorite thing. Do not put earwax. Oh my God, you are disgusting. You are vile. What level are you even on? See, I'm very excited for the fact that I go to Vegas in three weeks. I go to Vegas 
to meet some of my favorite actresses and partake in a panel about LGBTQ plus rep in video games, which yes, is both super exciting things. Love them both. Can't wait for those. But like Olive Garden, like Olive Garden. Is she added to our group? Can we try and call to our meal? Where the hell did she go? Right she is not part of our group so actions add to group we're also gonna add tay as well this is tay right oh my god imagine if i just added like a random stranger just like trying to impress everyone and then let's um call to meal i mean i don't didn't really need to add them to a group for that but we'll call them to our meal i actually don't think i've ever played in this apartment but this is like the ea furnished apartment and yes there could be like more stuff around i probably will change it a little bit and like add a few more decorations but this ain't half bad for an ea built lot like we all know how the lots have been recently they've been pretty damn empty so this is not bad at all i don't know i feel like this is more like his kind of room um and this is like a very fancy guest bedroom i feel like he probably used this one more this is what i like though i wish they had like gone back in i know they have to use the packs and the base game but i wish it was possible for them to add like get famous stuff in here because it really would suit this um this apartment for sure let's ask her about her career we gotta try and get to know her a little bit i want to become friendlier with her ask her about her day complain about tv size same actually we have a really big tv i'm not complaining about our tv size i swear i'm not that type of person i honestly couldn't give a hoot let's compliment her outfit work on that charisma because in the last part i was like i swear our charisma is meant to be going up like why is it not going up and then i was acting like a noob and you're all like hey you can only work on the charisma skill on actions that have the glasses next to them i was a complete sims noob and completely forgot about that no do not go to bed we're not going to bed yet you have to at least become friends with kayla this is what i have promised myself for this episode this part we have to become friends with someone new we'll tell an engaging story oh she doesn't want a hug is that because she's angry or is it just because she hates us? Can we please calm you down? Do you need a drink? Should I make you a drink? I feel like I should make her a drink. Make drink for Kayla. Because I feel like if she's a celebrity, she might have the quirk that means if she doesn't have juice, then she gets a little angry and aggressive. So we're going to test this out and see if a drink will calm her down. I really should get Edith to bed considering she is a pregnant lady and probably needs all the sleep that she can get, but I want to at least freaking befriend one celebrity how many aspiration points do we have really not that many we don't have that many satisfaction points we clearly gotta work on our charisma skill i gotta do that off screen for sure we've gotta get level 10 in charisma and level 10 in home style cooking those are part of the rules just to remind you guys the rules will be linked in the description so definitely go check those out she's drinking from a blue solo cup oh it actually looks less like a blue solo cup and more like a um do you know like a thermo thermos it looks like a thermos flux why was that so hard for me to say that took me like half an hour to get that word out of my mouth this is what happens when you talk to yourself for at least half an hour a day i know i'm talking to you guys but you aren't physically in the room with me so it's just like i'm mumbling to myself for like a good half an hour 
<laughs> Just crazy. Ooh, she loves the outdoors. Okay, we're getting to know her a bit more. This is what we needed. We need to like flatter her. We need to like big her up. She must have that quirk because she is now very energized. She got one drink of juice in her. She had a cheeky, salty llama. And now she's feeling very energized, which is good for us. At least we know her weakness is juice. Oh my god, look at her. She's like, whoa, I'm so excited, girl. You're the best. How can her mood change so much? Is she off? I think she's leaving. Bye, Kayla. Did we even become friends with you? <gasps> friend a friend will always be there for a kind word yay that makes me happy all right i'm gonna skip through to the morning and i'm gonna be back with you guys in a second oh god guys are you serious there's a fire oh my god edith what did you do go and extinguish it this is not the time we aren't even married to tay yet we can't kill him off until we're married to him. Oh my god, extinguish it. Don't just run away. I know you're pregnant and you probably shouldn't be running towards the fire, but please get rid of it. I did not need that right now. Why could that not have happened after we had married him? God's sakes. That could have been such a good way to kill him. That's so annoying. You know what? We have a second stove, so I'm not even going to replace that one. Serve eggs and toast again. No, don't eat salad for breakfast. That's just weird. Like, who does that? Really? Who eats a salad for breakfast? Watch it. The one time I don't want a flipping fire, it'll start. And then when I actually do decide to kill a husband off by fire, it won't happen. I actually read one of your comments the other day, which made me full on like laugh out loud. And one of you said, I want like the really classic deaths in this let's play, like a ring of fire. I remember I used to do that in like The Sims 1 and 2, where you would buy like six stoves, eight stoves, put them all around your sim. <laughs> and then have them like all catch on fire so it was just like a ring of fire around them. Honestly, I might do it. It doesn't really make sense like story-wise, but it is hilarious when it does happen. So if more of you would like to see like more classic deaths, let me know how you used to kill your Sims off because that was definitely a way I used to do it in The Sims 1 and 2. If you want to see like any classic ways of them dying, let me know your favorite ways because I want this to be as much like your challenge and your let's play and like entertaining to you guys as it is to me. And that full on made me howl because it just brought back all the memories of me killing my sim off that way you know when i said who eats salad for breakfast apparently tay does he's got a nice oh now he's sniffing it delightful i'm gonna leave you to your salad you can definitely um go on about that uh we oh my god where is our drone did I leave our drone somewhere? I knew that was going to happen. I mean, we have so much money, so we can definitely afford to buy probably the better drone now, to be honest. Like, yes, it's a lot bigger, but it's also a better thing. Let's get a gold one. This is huge. This thing is massive. Hopefully it means we won't forget it. I can't believe. I knew that was going to happen. I literally called it at the beginning of this Let's Play. I was like, I am so going to lose this streaming drone. It happens every time. I constantly, constantly forget that I need to put it back in our inventory. All right, girl, you need to go work on your charisma. So we are going to go practice our speech i think that helps to get up our charisma we are gonna stream it honestly i don't know how entertaining that is but i guess every streamer like even in real life i guess we are all kind of practicing our charisma when we stream like i said we literally just sit 
and talk to ourselves. And talking is like in front of an audience is a pretty big part of being charismatic. So it kind of makes sense, but I don't really know how entertaining it's going to be to the viewers. She's on like 60%. So I'm just going to have her carry on with this. I'm going to end this part here, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to let me know if there are any specific deaths that you want to see in this challenge. Please, please leave them in the comments because that other one, the classic ring of fire is just so close to my heart. I am also going to have her buy a lottery ticket by the way. And then I think in the next part, we're actually going to get married to Tay. Why the heck not? A little cute pregnant lady in a wedding dress. What could be better than that? He's getting a glimpse into his future and then it's all being ripped away probably within the next couple of parts. I'm sorry, Tay, you were one of my favorites, but thank you guys for tuning in and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.